government conspiracies. For many years, people have made it known that they believe the government is keeping information from the public. Though the government would go on to deny a lot of these accusations, there are some of these conspiracies that were a little harder to ignore, according to some. With things like secret bases, to strange satellites in our orbit, it's hard to distinguish between what's real and what isn't. Some of these conspiracies go against everything we have been taught all our lives, and some even defy logic. Do you think the government is keeping things from us? Join us, as we look at some of the strangest government conspiracies and cover-ups. For our first conspiracy. The Black Knight Satellite. The Black Knight Satellite is an unidentified object orbiting the Earth, that has allegedly been watching us for 13,000 years, according to decoded signals. The existence of the Black Knight Satellite was acknowledged by the Defense Department in the late 1950s, which in turn sparked fear and intrigue as it appeared and disappeared without a regular schedule, leading to speculation about its origin and purpose. The satellite is said to be about the size of an oil truck and weighs around 15 tons, which raised questions as there was no rocket on Earth capable of launching something of that size at the time. After a series of photos taken by NASA in 1998, the existence of the Black Knight satellite, believed to be an alien probe monitoring our species, seems to have been finally proven. What do you think? Next up. The Betts Mystery Sphere. The Betts Mystery Sphere was uncovered in 1974 by a family in Florida. The family, named the Betzes, discovered the sphere after investigating a small brush fire near their residence in Fort George Island, Florida. The sphere has an approximate diameter of 8 inches and a weight of nearly 22 pounds. Their first thought was the sphere had been a cannonball left from New World Conquistadors, and decided to take the sphere back to their house. Several days later, one of the family members was playing the guitar in their home, when he noticed the sphere seemed to react to the sound of the guitar. It made a throbbing noise. Later, the sphere was noticed to roll on its own and even stop on its own and change direction. The bet sphere attracted international attention from the press, scientific community, military, and even UFO researchers, indicating its significance and intrigue. It was also said to emit radio waves and contained an unknown element, leading some to believe it was genuine alien technology that defied the known laws of physics. The whereabouts of the Bet sphere and its connection to the United States government's confiscation remains a mystery, leaving room for speculation and intrigue. What do you believe? Up next. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 was an international passenger flight operated by Malaysia Airlines that disappeared from radar on March 8, 2014 while flying from Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia to its planned destination, Beijing Capital International Airport in China. The reason for the disappearance has not been conclusively determined, with all 227 passengers and 12 crew aboard presumed dead. There have been a number of conspiracy theories involving the disappearance of this flight, from murder-suicide by the pilot, to a dangerous cargo. However, a relatively new theory has surfaced. This theory says the plane was hijacked by the CIA and flown to an island in the Indian Ocean called Diego Garcia. This island is believed to be a place where human experiments as well as torture are conducted. Do you think this could be possible? For our next conspiracy theory. Antarctica. For centuries, the continent known as Antarctica has been shrouded in mystery, as well as the focal point for many conspiracy theories. One such theory says that in the late 1930s, the Nazis showed an interest in Antarctica and sent an expedition to survey a part of it and claim it for Germany, creating Nischwebenland. Nuschwebenland has been the subject of conspiracy theories for decades, some of them related to Nazi UFO claims. Most assert that, in the wake of the German expedition of 1938-39, a huge military base was built there. 
After the war, high-ranking Nazis, scientists, and elite military units are claimed to have survived there. The US and UK have supposedly been trying to conquer the area for decades, and are said to have used nuclear weapons in this effort. Proponents claim the base is sustained by hot springs providing energy and warmth. Another popular theory is that Antarctica is not really a continent at all, but rather an ice wall surrounding our continents and holding our oceans. Which brings us to our next entry. Flat Earth Theory Flat Earth is an archaic conception of the Earth's shape as a plane or disk. Many ancient cultures subscribe to a flat Earth cosmography, and the model has undergone a recent resurgence as a conspiracy theory. Many flat earthers, as they are called, see the world with the North Pole being right in the center, the continents splayed out over the plain. On the edges, you would run into a 150-foot wall of ice, guarded by armed NASA employees. The heavens are a dome that arc over the flat earth, and the sun, the moon, the stars, are all just little balls of light in the sky that move around just above the Earth's surface. This theory also suggests that there is a layer of water over the Earth, called the firmament, and that we really haven't been to deep space. Though there is evidence supporting both a flat and globe Earth, the public is still as divided on this theory. For our next conspiracy. The Moon Landing. Moon landing conspiracy theories claim that some or all elements of the Apollo program and the associated moon landings were hoaxes staged by NASA, possibly with the aid of other organizations. Various groups and individuals have made claims since the mid-1970s that NASA and others knowingly misled the public into believing the landings happened, by manufacturing, tampering with, or destroying evidence including photos, telemetry tapes, radio and TV transmissions, and moon rock samples. Many conspiracists focus on key points such as, there were no stars in any of the photos, the Apollo 11 astronauts also stated in post-mission press conferences that they did not remember seeing any stars during extravehicular activity. Another thing brought up was the fact that the angle and color of shadows are inconsistent, suggesting that artificial lights were used. And finally, if Neil Armstrong took the first steps on the moon, who filmed him doing so? These are just a few of the claims made by conspiracists. Do you think we really landed on the moon? For our final entry. The Hollow Earth Theory. The Hollow Earth is a concept proposing that the planet Earth is entirely hollow or contains a substantial interior space. According to hollow earthers, its inner surface is much like the outer surface where we live. It has oceans, mountain ranges, and clouds, and hovering at the very center of this hollow ball is a miniature sun that warms the inner surface residents. The North Pole and the South Pole are holes that allow travel between the outer and inner worlds. The civilization that lives on the inner surface is more advanced than ours, and they fly in and out through the polar openings in flying saucers, which explains UFO sightings by the outer surface civilization. Only the government knows about the polar openings and the inner civilization, and they suppress this information. What are your thoughts on this theory? So, what did you think of the conspiracies in today's video? Were any of them new to you? Drop a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.